short little video and I'm sure you can tell what it is by the title but it's going to be a what's in my makeup bag video. Um, I just got a new makeup bag off of the Victoria's Secret website last week and it's super cute so it kind of inspired me to do one of these because I haven't done one in quite a while. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I carry around with me in my little makeup bag then just keep watching because I'm just going to get started on it. So this is what the bag looks like. It is a clear plasticky type material with a lime green lace over top and then the zipper is just a hot pink plastic as well. And then the little um, grabby thing on the zipper, I don't know what that's called. What would you call that? Is hot pink and white striped like the classic Victoria's Secret pattern. This one basically grabbed my attention off the website because it was one of the brightest ones. It's very spring slash summery to me, which I liked. And I, of course, will put a link down below for this bag if you guys are interested in buying the same one so that you can just go to it directly instead of trying to find it on their website on your own. And now I guess I will show you guys what I keep in my little makeup bag. Right on the top, I have my lip combination that I was wearing today. Usually on a daily basis I'll carry whatever lip color I'm wearing that day with me just because obviously you have to like touch up your lipstick and stuff. So um, today I have on a Maybelline lipstick in the color Nude Lust 920 and it's one of their new um, nude lipsticks. And then I also have on a Naked lip gloss in the color Nooner. So it's just like the same type of nudish pink color. So I carry those around with me just so that I can kind of pop them on when they start to wear off after I eat or anything like that. And then what else do I have? I also have the concealer that I've been wearing every day lately if you can see it. It's the Smashbox HD concealer in the color Fair Light. So I just basically carry this around with me for the same reason just so that I can touch up like sometimes throughout the day my concealer will start to fade and wear away and then my eyes look really dark. So I just like to carry it around and then pop some on like whenever I need to. I also have two liners in here. One of them is the Gosh White Eyeliner. I like to um, refresh my eyes by putting that in my waterline because it wears away so fast since it is in your waterline. So it just kind of is like a really fast pick-me-up I guess. It makes your eyes look really bright and awake. And then I also have one of the new Urban Decay Naked pencils I think. It's like a dual pencil that were inspired by the Naked palettes. So this one is in the shade Naked 2 which was inspired by the Naked 2 palette obviously. Um, and I wear this lighter shade on. It's just like a taupey brownish, silverish, purplish color. So I've been wearing that um, in my lash line. So it just is easy to pop those on and kind of touch it up. And then I also keep my mascara on me, which is currently the CoverGirl Lash Blast 24 Hour Mascara. I really like this stuff because it doesn't clump and it stays put pretty well all day. I don't find that it flakes off or anything like that. So I've been really liking it. And then I also have some brow products in here. I'm not really sure why, but I think it's because the other day I didn't have time to do my brows before my shift at work, so I just kind of like tossed it in here to do it at work. So I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color Ash Blonde, which is my current brow product that I love. It's absolutely amazing. And I guess I could do a brow routine for you guys since I haven't shown this before. And then I also have the Benefit Gimme Brow, which is just like a perfect, really quick product for your eyebrows it pretty much makes them look amazing in like 0.2 seconds so I like that because it's such a quick little fix for them um, so yeah those are my two brow products right now that I guess I have in there I also have a hand cream this is an EOS hand cream in the color berry blossom it smells really good it absorbs really fast and it actually does moisturize in my hands it's just handy to have a little cream on me sometimes I'll even like put on my elbows and stuff just because like the air here literally sucks every ounce of moisture out of your skin so I pretty much have to carry some sort of a cream on me at all times but that's the one I have in there right now. I also have a travel size of Max Fix Plus spray. I like this as kind of like a midday refresher for my skin because like I said it does get really dry here so this is just nice to kind of like spray on your face randomly throughout the day. It gives you a nice little pick me up and makes you feel really refreshed and awake and it's good for your skin so I always carry one of those with me. I also have my face powder which currently is the Revlon Nearly Naked Powder in the color light. The reason that I'm using this one right now is because um, it's actually normally a little bit dark for me but I do still have my tan from Mexico so it's pretty much the only one that kind of matches me. And then with that I always carry my Sigma Large Powder Brush. It's the F30 brush and I think this is a travel size one. I don't think it's full size because I believe it came in my little like 
bunny travel set or whatever but I can put a link down below for that too if you guys are interested in like a little brush for your purse because I love these brushes so um, definitely check that out if you are interested um, I have a chapstick this is just the rock chapstick I'm not really sure how you pronounce this it's Anidrial or something like that, but it's just a really plain lip balm. It has no scent or color to it or anything It's just really moisturizing kind of like As simple as Vaseline almost but just in a lip balm form I like that because it is really moisturizing and kind of intense for when my lips are really dry And then I also have a hot couture roller ball. I got this as like a gift with purchase with my hot couture perfume way back when so right now this is kind of like my favorite perfume so I just like to carry that on me because perfume likes to wear off throughout the day like everything else and I have a random pack of makeup wipes these are the say yes to cucumber ones in the travel size I think I have these because sometimes I like spend the night out and stuff and I hate not being able to take off my makeup if it gets really gross so these just take off my makeup really easy and they're really um, soft on my eyes which is nice because I bought so many packs of makeup remover wipes that like burn my eyes or feel really rough around them so I like these ones because they're really gentle but they do the job and then I have some eye drops these are refresh redness relief because my eyes get like all bloodshot and dry all the time once again because it's so dry here I think but it's just really annoying and it hurts sometimes and it's uncomfortable so I've kind of just gotten in the habit of carrying eye drops around with me now to take care of that problem because it's really easy and then the last thing that I have in here is a little folding um, eyebrow slash eyelash comb it's got like a metal comb and then like a little brush comb for your brows and your lashes I like to carry that because um, it just gets like little clumpies and stuff out of my eyelashes and if I'm gonna put on more mascara after my mascara has dried then I like to comb them out first um, so that they don't get really like spidery and stuff. So that is it for what is in my little makeup bag. I know it wasn't a ton of stuff, but it's just kind of the stuff that I have put together from experiences where I've been out in public and mad at myself for not having something or being stuck without it. So these are kind of the things that come in handy for me when I'm out and about. And once again, I will put a link to this bag down below for you guys if you want to check that out. And then if you have any other questions for me, just leave them down below and I will try to answer them for you guys. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. That's where I spend most of my time and that's definitely the easiest way to interact with me, especially if you want to send me photos or ask me any questions or anything like that. So definitely make sure you check those out after the video and thank you so much for watching it. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I love you guys and I will talk to you guys all in my next video. take up such an unnecessary I don't think I've done one um I just got